Welcome to the Department of History at the University of Hong Kong. When you study history at HKU, you'll become part of a vibrant and supportive community. Our department is global in outlook, with faculty members from all over the world. We aim to give students the greatest possible choice in what they study. You'll be able to choose from a wide range of courses and to study thematic histories from comparative and interdisciplinary perspectives. Our department is consistently ranked as the leading department of history in the region, recognised for its outstanding research. At HKU, you'll be studying history with teachers who are world-class scholars. Many of them have written authoritative books on the subjects they teach. We believe that history isn't about memorising facts and dates. It's about developing critical thinking and a flexible, adaptive approach to new knowledge. When you study history at HKU, you'll gain valuable skills for life. In this video, students and faculty will be sharing their experiences and explaining different features of our unique undergraduate history programme. Please enjoy. Hi there, my name is Dr Alastair McClure and my job today is to give you a sneak peek at what you should expect during your first year of study if you decide to join us in the History Department at the University of Hong Kong. The first year at university is always an exciting, challenging and at times daunting experience. With the introductory courses, it will be our job as your instructors to prepare you as best as possible to make this transition smoothly. To start with, a few important details. The first thing to note is that if you are um, interested in studying history, but haven't yet had the opportunity to do so in high school, do not fear, in the history department, we think it's never too late to start that journey with us. The second thing to note is that if you wish to major in history, you will have to take one six credit introductory course before you start your second year to qualify as a history major. Okay, so what are introductory courses? The first year introductory courses generally offer broad overviews of history that will help you better understand a key historical theme or period. The focus of our courses are wide ranging, including important surveys of the early modern and modern world, as well as the history of Hong Kong. Alongside more traditional courses, we also offer courses that focus on key concepts, themes and ideas within the discipline of history, including the history of gender, the history of law, and even the history of energy. In these courses, you will not simply learn about how other people have written and understood history. We will also help you to hone the vital skills that enable you to do history for yourself. We are not so much interested in spoon feeding you facts or asking you to remember hundreds of different dates. Rather, we want to train you to handle historical documents and think critically about the past. This will include how to read and examine primary source documents, how to productively engage with serious historiographical debates, and how to start preparing your own research questions as you move forward into survey and seminar courses later in your degree so that by the end of your first year, you will be fully prepared for both the exciting and challenging tasks that lie ahead as a fledgling historian at the University of Hong Kong. After your first year as a history major at HKU, you're going to have the opportunity to take a wide variety of courses in your second and third year that will expand your horizons in terms of what you study, allow you to experiment in new types of history and new regions in the world, and hopefully help you cultivate interests that you may wish to explore in your capstone project in your final year as a history major. Now, those courses have great regional scope. They range from courses on the history of modern China and modern Europe to the history of countries like Japan. They also allow you to do more thematic approaches to history, whether it's studying the history of imperialism, environmental history, or the history of women, gender, and sexuality. The history courses at HKU allow you to take subjects that you probably never even imagined constituted history when you're a high school student. 
including the history of drugs and alcohol, the history of sport, the history of love, and a very popular course at HKU on the history of food, which includes a lunchtime offering of the food that you've studied that day. Finally, the courses at HKU often help us to contextualize modern problems and challenges that the world is facing. For example, this semester, we're offering a course on the history of pandemics, which explores the history of disease, epidemics, and the efforts to control them in Asia throughout history. And last semester, we offered a course on modern politics and protest in the US that helps to contextualize present day movements like the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, as a history major, you also get the option to do two different types of classes, and both experiences really complement each other. The first, which I just outlined, is a survey course, a course of 30 to 40 students where you'll have lectures and tutorials. The second is the seminar, which you'll take as an upper level student. The seminar is an opportunity for you to work in a much smaller class closely with your peers and the professor. Often those classes are 10 to 20 students and focus a lot on interactive class discussion. And those topics tend to cover a more narrow and in-depth topic. You can study the history of great men like Stalin, Mao, and Hitler. And you could also look at a range of thematic topics like the history of oceans and the history of bombings from aerial bombings to drones. Finally, the history major is a flexible major that helps you work to build a cohesive and collaborative uh, major and minor program. You can pair the courses in history with other offerings in the School of Modern Languages and Culture, Gender Studies, and the School of Chinese, just to name a few. And many of those courses, if they're cross-listed, will count towards your history major. Hi everyone, my name is David. I'm here to talk to you about your year four experience and the capstone. Now, let's face it, your fourth year seems like it's a very, very long way away right now, doesn't it? But the next few years will pass super fast. And before you know it, you'll be choosing your year four courses and preparing for the workplace or further study. To graduate, you will need to fulfill the capstone requirements. What does that mean? Well, basically, you have to choose from a set of special six credit courses called capstones. You just need one for graduation, but you can take more if you like. The capstone is the moment when you strap on your parachute and jump out of a plane. They challenge you and test the skills and knowledge that you've learned in the preceding years of the curriculum. You demonstrate mastery of those skills and then come safely down to land and check your highlights reel, which is exciting. So is there any more good news? Well, yes, there is. History has more capstone courses to choose from than almost any other program in the Faculty of Arts. Okay then, down to details. What are the courses actually like? Well, basically, there's a lot of choice. You choose between courses that align more with a research-focused pathway through the history major, or those that fit more with the pathway emphasizing a training in historical awareness. On the research side, we have the six credit option, History Research Project. There you identify a project question and work one-on-one -on -one with a professor to study it. We also have its big brother, the dissertation elective. Taken over two semesters, it's an extended project worth 12 credits, which is ideal preparation if you're going on to further study. Then on the historical awareness side, we have courses that focus on historical places, like, for example, museums and history, where you study the museums industry in Hong Kong. And we have History Applied, our very own internship course, where you link up with a community partner and act as an historical consultant working in the field alongside them. By invitation, we have History Without Borders. And what is this? Well, it's a course funded by our very own alumni. And who can sign up? In this case, students whose performance in the major is very good. It's by invitation. And students rave about this course. Why? Well, because it inv allows invitees a unique opportunity to design and plan their own fully funded research trip undertaken anywhere in the world. So with all these final year experiences on offer, it's no surprise our students find it so easy to get great jobs after they graduate with top employers in Hong Kong. And every year, we see those who want to continue studying admitted into programs at universities with really great reputations. So, 
whatever your plans, whether you're preparing to enter the workplace or go on to further study. With such a range of year four courses on offer, you have the perfect launch pad from our program into a brilliant future. Apart from our undergraduate curriculum, the History Department also offers Common Core courses. Today, we teach more than 10 Common Core courses on wide-ranging topics like body politics, contagions, gaming, genocide, gender, memory, propaganda, sports, and many more. The list goes on and on because we make new contributions to the Common Core curriculum every year. We strongly commit to the Common Core because we are historians who care about the present and the future. By knowing about the past, we can tackle present and future challenges more effectively. The Common Core curriculum is an ideal platform to put our teaching philosophy into practice. Here, we make history accessible to young, creative people like all of you. We show students the latest trends in historical research and find out how the past connects with the present together. So, what do we actually do in the Common Core? We do what historians are best at doing, to think critically and to understand with sensitivity. Through creative assessments like game designs, field trips, role plays, blogging, and exhibition curating, we encourage you to explore history wherever you find it. In our courses, you will get to write history in many forms, as opinion pieces, musical articles, historical fiction, movie scripts, and even as posters and 3D models. Here, you will become better writers, thinkers, communicators, and problem solvers. More importantly, you will learn about how to engage with history. You will learn about how to face the world as it is and as it will be. It will also be fun. So welcome. We look forward to seeing you in our History Department's Common Core courses next year. The thing that I like the most is the tutorial session and seminar courses of history department. Because in these sections, we can interact with people, which is the thing that I love the most. And when you interact with these people, so you will get a new perspective from them that you have never thought of before. And that you can exercise your critical thinking skills and to practice how to communicate with other people, which is a very essential skill in the modern society. For me, I like to learn things in different perspectives and history course kind of give me the capacity to do so. So to be exact, I really like that historical revisionism because it challenges some Asian historian views. So. It's really given me a lot of insight and I find it really interesting. Yeah, I think the best part of studying history is that um, we can see how the past, the history has impact to today's world. Like currently I have been studying a course about policing, the history of policing in 19th century. And it's fun during my research how I can look into some primary sources like the diaries of the prisoners to understand more about things that happened before and to learn about how the past have shaped the current and contemporary policing system. And this is really interesting. Um, I think the best thing about Hong Kong history is about people. Um, the professors are really, really very extra nice uh, because they, if you ask questions during class or you walk into their office without appointment and when you knock on their door, they will just come up and say, Hey, Eric, what's up? Uh, well, what can I help you? And then you can, have, uh, you can enjoy a very friendly chat for a while and learn, so, learn things from them. They, they won't be very harsh on you and 
yeah. Uh, another thing is that the department policy is very great that you can uh, ask one of the professors about the a topic that you want to investigate on, and then it could become a direct reading course, and you can happily study with the that professor on that topic for one semester. Yeah, that's truly a great research experience. Uh, when I was uh, in my term of service doing uh, in the History Society, I organized the History Festival that we, the Society, brought students and Professor John Carroll to the Jewish Synagogue and the Sikh Gurudwara to have a taste of their religious history and their customs. Yeah, referring to ABC Tours mentioning about the trip to the temple. I remember it was really a fun and interesting experience and we really enjoyed the time we had there. So Hiso is a one big cuddly family that brings history nerds together. And why do we bother to study history? Asian relics, things that seem unrelated to us right now. But well, our axiom is Historia Magister Vitae, which means history is a teacher of life. We can definitely learn from the greats from the past and try to improve ourselves. Besides having the History Festival, we also held some meetings with the professors so we can help facilitate the communication between students and professors, like expressing their opinions on history courses. We have a great chat together, so it was something that we have done before. And also apart from the SSCC meetings and History Festival, we also offer publications like the newsletter and the journal here. So it's a platform for you to voice out your thoughts on a historical theme and display your good works too. Wow. <laughs> so guys, you have feel free to join us here. So uh, we are definitely the best academic society in the Faculty of Arts. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we look forward to meeting you on campus soon. If you have any questions or want to know more about the Department of History and its programme, please check out our website.